Uh, John, for you, I wonder what it's been like the last uh, couple of days since the last game. How many people have you heard from from Columbus uh, as far as your, your debut? How many people have, have reached out to you? Uh, you no, know, just a lot of family. Uh, just a lot of family just uh, congratulating me on the uh, good game and the good win we had. And uh, just telling me to keep going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Devin, for you, um, just getting the season started the way that you did, uh, how did it feel to have that second half and to, to show, like, you know, building on what, what you were able to prove as the last season went on? Uh, I mean, I've just been working on all summer, so just going out there and just showing what I've worked on, that's really all it's about. Just keep working, keep grinding, going out there when the lights are on, show what you're doing. John, I. Uh just the confidence to, to go out and take logo threes in your first game. <laughs> how, how did you get that instilled in you? I mean, I'm, I'm always working on that shot. Uh, the confidence is always there, you know, and I have the uh, coaching staff behind me that uh, believe in me as well. So, you know, just going out there, you know, having that confidence and, you know, to be able to shoot that shot it was uh, definitely a, um, a surreal moment for sure. You're pretty far along in your offensive game as far as just for a freshman at, at, at you know the college level. What are you working on on the defensive end of the floor right now, and, and how are you improving in those areas? Um, you know, just uh, being in the right spots at the uh, right time. Um, just more of uh, off ball, you know, just communicating more off the ball and um, being more connected with my teammates. Yeah, I asked uh, Coach Tiebler a similar question after the game about Bruce. Um, he had the last nine points of the game, and I asked uh, Coach Tiebler, and he said that he thinks he's one of the best closers in all of the country. He didn't, wouldn't have like a better closer. Would rather not have a better closer than him. Um, but I, I guess just like, what does it have? What does it mean for you guys to have someone who could, I guess, close out a game like that and uh, really uh, set the tone towards the end for both you guys? Um, it means everything, you know, he a great guard, you know, and a great leader. So, you know, just coming in there and just doing what he do every day and practice. We work on all that. He, he does the same thing, so we know he can do it. So just having that is just very helpful for sure. Uh, yeah, you know, just the consistency. Um, that was, you know, it was no surprise to me. Um, definitely just him being able to step up, you know, uh, carry us to that win at the end. Uh, Bruce kind of, I guess, taught you through this for your freshman season? Uh, just keep my head down. Um, keep my head down, keep grinding, um, and just, you know, worry about what's ahead. John, as you're getting ready to go into check in for the first time, I know you played the exhibition against Cincinnati and, and you had some scrimmages, but checking in for the first time, what's kind of going through your head? Um, and then how different is it? Do you think when you check in the next game, knowing what you were able to do against a team like Texas? Uh, I mean, there's a lot going on through my head. You know, it's my first college game, a uh, big stage. Uh, you don't know what what's going to happen. So, I mean, just yeah, it's a tough question. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just um, just staying true to myself. You know, uh, going out there and doing what I know I could do, and what my teammates know I could do. Yeah. Devin, uh, a big win like that in week one, it, it, or first game, it, is obviously big, but you have these other games coming up, and including shortly here at home. How do you make sure you take the positives from that, build on the negatives, and not let that become, oh, they had a good first game, but then they struggled afterwards? Uh, I think, you know, D with our coaching staff just harps on that a lot, saying, like, you know, we got the win, but, you know, we – we got to, we have the rights to win one game. Now we got to win a second game, a third game, a fourth game. So they make sure we stay on our heels, you know, go over things, right? We get back, go over film, um, just building on stuff that, you know, we didn't do right in the first game. We got a good win, but, you know, we still didn't do everything that we should have in a defense aspect or offense. So just going over that, you know, just keep working on that. Devin, we saw your confidence as a scorer start to develop late last season. I'm wondering, you know, going into your, you know, sophomore season, even in game one, were there any noticeable differences of having done this already, having a full season under your belt? 
Um, yeah, just I am think I'm just getting more on my shot throughout the summer. So, you know, just having more comfort with my shot, just building on that, be able to hit down them open shots, some kick one more shot, it's going to be big for us. Is there really any place on the court you're not comfortable scoring? I mean, uh, you got the three, not the set three, in the paint, outside court, maybe the Maybe not half court like him, but, you know, <laughs> every, everywhere else I, I got, I, I'm doing good in. John, have you thought at all about what it's going to be like to play your first home game? Uh, it's definitely going to be, you know, uh, you know, to be honest, the dream come true. Um, I've always grew up, you know, a Buckeye fan, you know, always watching the Buckeyes, always wanting to be on the floor uh, and definitely just playing, uh, playing a home game here for the first time. is definitely going to be a surreal moment. Devin, what do you remember about your first game here? Uh. Same thing like him, just, you know, it's, it's a great moment. Uh, a lot of high energy, you know, you might have a little butterflies for your first game, but, you know, it was, it was a great moment because, you know, I grew up here too. So, you know, just watching the Buckeyes growing up, watching them on the court, you know, always wanted to play there. So it was great. With you guys both being from around here, when's the first time you cross paths? <laughs> like junior high. Like, Ronald's Burbers pick Central back in the junior high, a little high school. He was shooting a little bit, you know, doing his thing. But, yeah, I was probably like. I was frying. I wasn't uh, doing my uh, thing. I was frying. Yeah, we well, you wasn't playing. You yeah, was playing my play, 17th. Yeah, or no, my 7th grade? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know. They might. We might have lost. But I know my team won. So. <laughs> John, I'm curious, when you see your first shot go in, how does that affect your confidence versus if your first shot doesn't go in for you? Uh, for me, it's no it's no change. Um, I'm always going to shoot no matter what. Um, even if that shot went out, I was pro probably would have shot another one like that. So it's just, for me, that confidence is always going to stay there, and my mindset is going to stay the same. Just what was it like playing in in that arena in Vegas, uh, especially for a, you know the opening night of the season? Uh, we haven't seen that a lot from from this program. So what was that experience like for you guys? Uh, I, I feel like it was great, man. Just going in there, you know, we went we went there a couple of days early, just going in there, getting shots up, just filling out the gym. I felt it was great. Energy was great off the bench, on the court. So all around, I think it was just a great game, great great opportunity, great atmosphere all around. Yeah, they like that. <laughs> sure. Uh, Devin, we've had a lot of questions this offseason what this team would look like with so many new faces and, and new coaches and everything. Being out there as last year, being out there this year, what felt most different to you to how you guys how you guys played compared to a year ago? Well, our connection. I feel like that was just really good. You know, our connection coming in, we all had one goal, and, you know, just – Going out there and do what we all do in practice that we practice every day, we do the same thing. So like just going out there, having confidence in each other, knock down the shots was big. Pace, the types of shots you were getting. I mean, you guys haven't shot that many threes very often. Yeah, I think the pace was a lot different. You know how we've been moving. Um, you know, deep likes fast pace, uh, moving up and down. So just having guards that get guys open, see the guys open, pass to them. You know, it was big. Yep. Yeah.